want to know how I created this beautiful tax season flyer, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, here is go ahead and pick your background, which I want to do. <clears throat> so I'm going to change it to the color black. I'm not going to make this video too, too long. Okay, so I have the black. And another thing I want to do is go and get my money background. So I'm going to just go to photos and just type in money. And a money background should come up that I like here. So let's see. I guess we could use this one. <clears throat> we can use this one right here. But the thing is, like with this one, I'm going to just turn the picture. Well, yeah, the picture black and white. So I'm going to go to add an image there. I'm going to scroll down to my filters. Scroll down again. Hit screen. And that's basically how I want it to look. But I want to crop some. I'm going to go to my transparency and take it all the way down. Well, not take it all the way down. Take it like to, <clears throat> to like 75, 76. That's fine. Now I want to go back to my elements and hit the square shape right there. And I'm going to, if it does right, I'm going to hover over that um, money background. But I have like a specific color that I want to use for this. So let me just go ahead and type it in. I didn't want like a green that was too dark or too light. So I just kept on basically playing around with it to see what it was that I like. What the shade type of what the um what the shade of green that I would basically like. So yeah, that's basically what I was just playing around with. So so this is the green that I basically want here. I have that now. I want to take the transparency down to uh, maybe like a 75 with that also. <clears throat> and so, oh, so before I continue um, talking about this, what I want to tell y'all is <clears throat> I have my bookings closed for, for the transparency. I have my bookings closed for my one-on-one uh, -on -one Canva sessions and I will be opening opening them back up very soon. So I have been seeing the emails and stuff about y'all being in the one-on-one -on -one Canva sessions, but there are some things I was trying to get in order, trying to like do better than how I did it the first time and stuff like that. So there are some stuff that I've been working on as far as my business, the Canva one-on-one -on -one sessions and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just trying to like, can you say like basically rebrand or something like that? So yeah, that's basically what I, I've been trying to do and trying to learn a better way to how to promote it. So yeah, I do have my Canva session bookings closed at the moment, but I was thinking about basically opening it, well, yeah, opening them back up maybe. Well, it is, so today is January the 11th. Um, so I, uh, I said it would be sometime before February. I'm not going to wait. I don't have y'all waiting too long. But once I do decide on a date that I have it, I mean, I um, decide to open it. My Canva session is back up. I will definitely put it in the community tab and let y'all know. I promise. So, yeah. I haven't, like, deleted the own um, sessions. I just have it on hold at the moment. So, I got my girl Ariana, Ari what she call herself um so i have her and actually i copied the picture from another on um, flyer and just hit paste just now and as you can see i didn't have to go to my uploads and do it so like say if you want to go to a flyer and you see uh, like a certain um element or a picture or anything like that on another flyer that you want to use on a new flyer only thing you gotta do is just hit copy and paste it on a, the new template and it'll just pop up just like how i did just now so i'm pretty sure a lot of i mean some people probably didn't know that but yeah that's all you have to do so let's just go to the text the text here um the text uh um this basically is going to say i was trying hold on this is basically going to say text season but i want to change the find on this 
and let's see here actually i downloaded this one off of Cam i mean not Canva, but um the font.com uh i'm trying oh here we go so that's the name of the font i'm going to change this to the color black i think i may want to like bring the letter spacing in a little closer like that so that right there will do put it position it in the middle okay so that's good i'm gonna go to effects and go to shadow like that so i like it like that add another copy right here and i'm gonna just put 2023 and actually i had supposed to upload it um when it was monday but i end up getting very busy that's why i it's better to go ahead and record the videos a day before or days before so that way when it is time to upload you won't have anything to worry about so yeah now i want to go back to my elements and get that money element that i had earlier right here and you want to see exactly what i do with it um Oh, and another thing, if you haven't started a YouTube channel, I would suggest that you do because YouTube is about to take over. I actually got an email, I think it was yesterday, but I um did the agreement thing today. But it's basically um, telling you to agree to the um, terms and conditions and stuff. So, it's basically, and the one thing was, it was um, about the YouTube shorts. So, that's another thing that people, oh lord. That's another um, way to make money from YouTube is the YouTube shorts, but it's best if you go ahead and try to get them subscribers up because I think the requirements to get it because it's like it's multiple. I mean, it's multiple ways how you can earn your income from YouTube like it really is. I mean, I have seen a lot of people talk about going going to youtube blah 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 so yeah and i think that's it's a very great decision right now so, sorry i'm trying to um design and talk at the same time but it looks like i'm having a hard time trying to do so but yeah and i've seen like so many people start a youtube channel but they're not consistent with it and I was like, oh, uh, and I see nothing but greatness coming from their channel. But it's like they just don't stay consistent with it. I was like, yeah, I can see this person going and getting far. Yeah, next thing you know, they just start posting completely. But it's understandable because people have things going on in their life and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's understandable depending on what your situation is. So, yeah, I completely understand. Let me go ahead and copy this. But my my own my goal was to basically post at least three times a week. So that's yeah. so yeah, that was that's basically my goal to do is post three times a week. I slacked up some this month. I mean not this month because the past two weeks I've been going I've been going hard. I mean posting three times a week. Yeah. I definitely been doing my thing for the past two weeks, but this week I only missed probably like a video, maybe. But don't worry, I'm gonna get back on it. I am going to get back on it. I think I want her picture maybe like a little bigger, like that. And I know tech season coming up, so this is another reason why I'm basically showing y'all how to do so. And right here, it's just a simple logo that I got from there. But this was basically, you can either put your logo right there or you put your business name. So it would be business name and you put services right, like basically right under it. So now I want to go to back to my square shape. And I'm going to make these like that. But I want to change it to the color green. Ink, yeah. So I think, hold on, let me zoom out so I can see how small or big they're going to be. I think I want to make it a little bit shorter. Okay, so I think this size right here would be good enough. I can just go ahead and position it to the back. Oops. 
oops come on okay so we have that i can make another copy put that one right there position it to the back make another copy position it to the back another copy i think i'm gonna do just like four of them and that's it okay so we have uh, four lines right there and now i want to go back to my elements and just type in <coughs> check check box or check either or and i'm gonna go to my graphics and find which check i want to use i think i want to use this one right here this one i think i always use anyway so yeah now i want to hit the white color let me zoom in oops I didn't tell you to move, girl. How you moving? Why is you moving? I'm trying to make this somewhat smaller. Okay. I think I can zoom out. Okay, so I have it. I want it like this. Nope. I'm going to have to zoom back in, y'all. Trying to get this right. I may have to make it smaller. I'm going to position it like in the middle like that. But I want it slide over. Okay, so I think that right there will be good. Let me make another one. And another thing I love about Canva is it like it gives you those guidelines on where to position it to have everything lined up correctly. So once you go and make another copy, it will automatically line it up with the first element that you did. <clears throat> and that's another thing I love about Canva. So we have that there. And now I want, oh, of course, you will put your services right here. So let me just put, I'm not going to put this, like the exact services. So I'm going to just say put service here. So you know, yeah, to put your service here. So anybody that wants to make this flyer, you will know. So yeah as tax season is coming up so yeah people is going to be looking for these flyers and templates and stuff so i don't mind helping y'all because that's what i'm here for and another thing go ahead and hit that like hit that thumbs up go ahead and share the video watch the ads all the way through and i also have i um i turn my um super thanks on so if you click on the video and you slide over, you will see a super thanks or thanks button. And you can click on it and it gives you diff different options of how you can support the channel. So that's another that's something else new that was also added to my channel. So if you want to support the channel in any kind of way, you can. I would truly appreciate it. So I have those there, but I want to change it to the color black. I was like, yeah, something is not looking right here. But yeah, that is another option of how you want to support the channel. You in that way you can any way, even if y'all watch anything y'all do regarding my channel, I truly appreciate it. I do because I couldn't got this far without y'all. And I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all. Like I really do. Now let me go to my icons. And I should have them in my seat all, so I'm not going to keep going back and forth. Oops, I did that one twice. So I have my three icons. Now I'm going to start with the Instagram one and hit the green. I know it's looking a little crazy right now, but just wait on it. You'll see in a minute. I have this one, change it to the color green, okay, so close that back out, so make sure I have everything lined up, same size, I think it's the same size, maybe, nope, the icons is way too big here, now, I can okay now I could go back and get the other icon 
right there, change this one to the color green and position it down here to the bottom. Let me zoom out. And uh, let me zoom back in. Come on, Kappa. The right, because we about finished. Okay, so I think I have everything lined up. The same, nope, because that one got too much space in it. Okay. So, next thing I could do is I'm going to change this to white, though. Let me zoom out. And this one is basically going to say your social media. Your social media. I have that one. Click back. Come on. I ain't mean, you put the S. Yeah, I'm going to have to zoom back in real quick. And Friday, I will also be uploading how to create an ebook. A few days ago, I did like a book design, but it's like a, it was like whatever you want to call it. But I did do a book design. So if y'all want to go and check that out, you can. But this time, I would be doing like how you can like actually create create an ebook very easy and simple in Canva. So I will be doing that next. Now, right here, we just add the phone number. See that backspace. Zoom back out or zoom back in. And trying to get it lined up. So I think everything is lined up. And there is your flyer. Let's make this somewhat smaller. Okay. I'm not going to do that because the video is already long. So yeah, there is your tech season flyer for anybody who's looking to do a tech season flyer. There you have it. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. And that will be all for this video. Go ahead, share this video with your family, your friend, all over your social media. Anybody who wanting to learn how to do any graphics or flyers, stuff like that. Because I will, help, I will be bringing more to this channel besides flyers and stuff like that so yeah that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoy and god bless